Grand Valley Television, was it always the GVTV we know? How has it changed? Did it even change at all? Who has made GVTV into the student news station we know today? We'll listen closely because today I welcome you to the first ever GVTV documentary. GVTV used to only be known as Eagle Media, and since the Eagle Media days, the class has changed tremendously. Well, GVTV has come a long way from where it started. So I really enjoyed Eagle Media in high school, but when I was in Eagle Media, we didn't really produce a newscast. I also helped establish the GVTV you guys know today. I joined GVTV during the 2012-2013 school year, and when I was in it, it was actually called Eagle Media Productions. Uh, when I was involved in the show, we focused more on fun stories, holiday segments, and the announcements, rather than more serious community stories, community involvement, and more realistic news pertaining to not only Grand Valley High School, but the city and community as a whole. One specific element that has changed from GVTV now from Eagle Media Productions then is that whenever in Eagle Media Productions we did the Eagle Eye segment, and the Eagle Eye segment was a correlation between uh, the B&B Theater and Green Valley High School. And Mandy and I were actually allowed to go up to the theater and watch two movies a month for free. And in turn, we gave advertising for the theater and we did a segment on each movie in a review. So that's just one element of how GVTV has changed from now as to what it was then. Nick Shop in Green Valley. I'm Andy McQueen. And I'm Coleman Childers, introducing our new film critiquing segment of Eagle Media Productions, Eagle Eyes, watching and critiquing movies near you. I have been involved in GVTV for three years now, but it wasn't always the new station environment that it is now. Uh, sophomore year, which would have been my first year in the class, we would make videos, but because we didn't have like the professional studio that we have now, we used things like the green screen to uh, make our skits or report eagle eyes. Uh, I would say we've definitely grown a lot as a class. Now we are reporting real student news, which was always the goal for TV. Green screens to studio news? A successful change if I'd say so myself. But I wonder why. I would say that our turning point as a class was actually a field trip to Blue Springs South where the teacher there, Mr. Grigsby, uh, the Jack's TV teacher, he walked us through how he ran his studio and shared some of his goals with us. Towards the end of my senior year, we went on a field trip to Jack TV and that is when things really started to change for Eagle Media. As a class, we started to get a hold of good ideas and we went with them and we started to form the current GVTV system. We changed Eagle Media and called it GVTV. We also put together a system where students would have to go through an application process to be accepted into GVTV. We took the field trip at the very end of my sophomore year and coming back my junior year, I definitely noticed a huge difference in how we carried ourselves as students, as reporters, and how we ran the class in a whole. So it looks like there was a certain man that had quite the impact on the transformation of GVTV. Lucky for you guys, I got to talk to Grisby himself. I think the overall uh, idea in coming to visit uh, South's uh, JAG TV studios to see how we can take um, a classroom setup and convert it into a television studio, it takes a lot of steps and a lot of patience, a lot of time, uh, but it is doable. And, and I think the overall purpose of that trip was to get a good idea of foundation to build upon and that's what uh, Grain Valley is has been doing uh, it's what we had to do four years ago so it's one of those things where you just share the knowledge and information and you just start from there and uh, I think the visit went very well and it, it definitely uh, set a great pace and a direction for the program at Grain Valley. We here at GV would uh, like to thank Mr. Grisby for his help. He helped us see our goal as a class and still helps our class grow as a studio. So now that you know how we've changed in these two short years, I want to guide you through the way we run things here at GVTV. 
Our departments work in many different ways. We have our overall producer, Reagan Childers, our main editor, Tyler Barker, our webmasters, Jessica, Timmy, Cooper, and Kyle, and to finish off the departments with public relations, we have myself and Reagan Childers. Overall, these positions work together to produce the best work possible and make every episode of GVTV a huge success. GVTV isn't just a class, it's an organization and everyone has to do their part. And if we do, then all goes well. But like every organization, time must be put in to produce a professional episode. GVTV can be pretty time consuming. Uh, between script writing, filming, reporting, and editing that is done every day, you don't have much time for mistakes. Uh, but now since I have taken on the role as executive producer, if there are editing errors or script problems, I'll have to stay after to try to correct what I can before the air date, which always seems to uh, sneak up on us. But I enjoy being a part of what we do here, so it doesn't feel like I spend as much time producing as I do. Usually by the end of the school week, my job is to make sure the episode is completed, rendered, and uploaded. Um, most of the time on A-Weeks, it's a lot more possible to meet our end goals because we have more than two classes to make our segment, edit it, and render it. Because on Fridays, we can't work because of render times. But on B-Weeks, I generally stay after school because we only have two days to work that week, and it's just not enough time during the school day to make sure everything flows together and works right. But I enjoy it, and it's a great environment to be in. So it takes time, but what being a part of something like this can do for you is definitely worth it because it is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And I know I've definitely enjoyed it so far. GVTV taught me how to interact with my peers and faculty members. Before starting GVTV, I was shy and struggled with that, but GVTV helped me break out of my shell. GVTV sometimes can put you in uncomfortable situations, but you learn to deal with them because in the end, it really helps you grow as a person. Now, that's not the only thing GVTV has done for me. GVTV helped me become a more creative person, which helped me be able to contribute to ideas that I do today. GVTV can be inspiring, and I know it has inspired me. Currently, I'm working towards a minor degree in cinematography, hopefully so one day that I can follow my mother's footsteps and become a cinematographer and broadcasting teacher. Wow, uh, GVTV has helped me a tremendous amount. Just taking on all this responsibility, being thrown into a little bit of the real world, I guess. Uh, it honestly feels like I work at a real news station sometimes. I'm constantly having to think outside the box, come up with story ideas stay involved in what's going on around the school, even outside the school. Just learning to deal with sponsors, communicating with teachers and administrators. Uh, I feel like everything I do here is things that I, I will have to do once I get into the real world when I'm an adult. 